is going on guys wiser here and i am coming to you with slay my base review episode five so that means of course i'm here with the man kadek how you doing my friend hey man doing good glad to be finally back it's been a while yeah it has been a while you know what I, I, it's it's shown in my videos recently um i've i've just been getting work a lot i've been really struggling to find time to even get recaps in never mind our uh super long 45 minute uh, <laughs> Slay my base episode, but uh, you know I love doing them, so I'm glad we could get together today. So we got a couple, a uh, couple good ones, right? Uh, I really like some of the feedback I'm seeing in your emails here, guys. Uh, just giving me a quick discussion. Uh, like I said, I'm super busy. As some of you guys have actually just asked me to just um, give you advice on your bases. At some point, I promise I will sit down and respond to all the emails. Um, so please just sit tight on that one. Uh, again, going along with how busy my work schedule has been since I uh, took this new job. Uh, anyhow, let's jump right into this. It's going to be a long one as is. Let's uh, check out our base number one. What do we see here, Tadek? It's a really new Tile 9. I like it. It's uh, someone who's really learning the basics of Tile 9 and starting off uh, in a big way, trying to get his base uh, demolished, basically. <laughs> and uh, I mean, there's only one way to learn. That's the hard way uh, in this game. So... Yeah, it's uh, awesome to see new people uh, joining us. And uh... I, think, I think this was a really good example. Clearly someone, like you said, who's new, uh, looking at, at our videos, obviously, and, and other videos, I'm sure, um, and sort of starting to grasp the fundamentals, but just learning, like, like you said, a, as you get attacked by stronger and uh, more advanced attackers with higher level heroes, uh, you're going to quickly see uh, the flaws in your base, and then the next time you build it, you kind of try and avoid that. So um, this is a really great example of this. Uh, let's just jump right in and uh, check out the Archer Queen Chamber. Yep. Now, the Archer Queen Chamber, as we said, she always needs to have three spaces on each side of her. Um, in this case, that's not true. So she will jump to pretty much any side except for the Town Hall side. Um, as we stated in previous videos, um, that basically screws over your whole base because... Um, as you can see, she will jump into the compartments with the double bo um, bombs in there. Uh, yeah, so, way. yeah, e e either of them. So, uh, in this case, let's just assume that this is three spaces. Yeah. I mean, it's an easy fix. We'll pretend this, this little section of wall there is, uh, is one, one space longer for the rest. Of Basically. The rest of the yeah. So, that's first off, fix that and it will be a lot better your base uh, overall. Um, for, for example, I, I just want to point it out, this wall, for example, doesn't do much at the moment. You can use that um, to extend this wall, for example, because right now she's very easily engaged from an Archer Queen walking from this side, especially since an army camp is an easy way to funnel her. Um, so move that wall out a bit and make sure that this side is three tiles. Yeah. Like, you, you've done such a good side, uh, job over on this side, protecting. It's like you invested so much so she doesn't get walked from that side, but left such an easy walk coming in from here. Um, you know, you want to balance that out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's three storages and a town hall here. There, I mean, maybe people are tempted to go towards the town hall, but they'll get stuck on all, the, all of those storages and uh, diminish their re uh, return, basically. Uh, on investment. So, um, she's very well protected. I mean, um, there's a lot of defense over there. Um, even this expo, I like the position on that one because it's out of range of anything coming at her, basically, but it will always target anything coming from this angle. So, that, that's a really sweet spot for, uh, for an expo. I use this kind of expo setup myself uh, a lot and with a lot of success. Um, so, really nice job there. Um, anything else to add about the queen chamber? No, I think, honestly, I think a, like if you just made those two little fixes and extended this wall, like something, you know, like, like that, and made sure that, like we had said, this wall is one space further that way, uh, that would actually be a really solid queen chamber. Yeah, the only thing, uh, comment I would make, um, that's because of the, the newer way of building, um, is to try and minimize the walls needed around your queen. So in this case, you would probably need to move her towards this section, like uh, just a touch further. Um, 
and you try to use less walls to protect her so you can uh, invest more walls in different sections of the base, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So think about that. You can mess around with it. I mean, it, it's just this section of the base, basically. So that's fairly easy to do. Um, so next thing, compartment sizing. Uh, I don't need to count this. This is nine tiles. Um, it, it, an easy way to test uh, if a wall is nine tiles without counting them. I mean, I've got grown sick of uh, counting those tiles. It's basically two defenses and one space. If they, those fit in between two walls, you know you got uh, the nine tiles. Save some uh, time counting. <laughs> um, so, um, we were talking about an earthquake over here, or even what I would consider is an earthquake over here that would actually um, open up all of the giant bombs which we'll, we will talk about later on um, basically these are too close together but um, because of the compartments uh, the, yeah it, it's very handy to, to quake this because there's two ways to go about it um, as you said wiser there's an easy max attack um, set before the video that is um, it will, you will go through here heal up mostly likely take out that AD and if not even that this uh, air defense um, and get the queen because you'll open up the queen chamber as well and even a max attack with uh, just, um, just hogs bombs, you could probably because you're going to get full of bomb sets or at, yep. least, at least the defenses on, on this side you, you would think would go down and even if they don't um, you could still I mean right you're, you're it's doable down. but it's very hard yeah. Um, but then again, uh, what I do want to point out is that um, this, most of the springs are spread out on the other side of the base. So you will spring about 15 hogs. Yep. So that's very nice. Um, any other compartmental issues? Um, basically, uh, we'll get to it because of the double sets. Um, there needs to be a bit of a compartment over here, basically. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, separating it. They need to be spread out more. That's right. Uh, a lot of it, I think, is because this is still, it, it's sort of a very compact design. Like, you, like I, I really think, like, those walls and the fact that you've used so many walls for your queen chamber means that the rest of your base is very compact. You don't have a lot of room um to spread that stuff out. And I think that's kind of what it comes down to. Yeah, very good point. I think uh, I didn't even realize it this time. Yeah, nice nice spot. Um, so next up, the giant bombs and hogs. Um, as we mentioned, these two are a bit too close together. Um, is there an easy way to fix this? I am not sure at the moment. Uh, you could consider spreading them out, for example, like one bomb over here, one bomb over here, and move this bomb set like over here, for example. Mm -hmm. um, something like that. Now, I think in general, um, both of them need, need, need something done, right? Because I'm definitely not a fan of this archer tower here. I mean, that they might they'll probably go up to, I guess, this air defense, right? After off an archer tower. Yeah, yes, but is. even then... Um, if you come in with hogs from this area, those hogs will path this way, these hogs will path that way, and they will meet probably on this air defense still. Oh, but that you know what I just noticed that little builder's hut in there might prevent what I'm talking about. I was just worried about it's the clutch off of that archer tower and triggering just that one. Um, I th I think they might. Uh, it, it's a really hard call in this case. Many of them, I suppose. Yeah. And the angle at which you're coming at it, at it, because if they're coming from this angle, they will definitely go down. But if you come from the, the top side, basically, I th they might go to the air defense. I think for the most part, and specifically because of that builder's hut, it, that, that would make it okay. Even it's a tough know. call either way. And the issue I do see is um, at this angle. Um, if they were to go from uh, this air defense, yeah, basically. That's a short so. Side. Yeah, it's a short side. They will trip one at a time. So that is an issue. Um, in general, uh, using one four space uh, defense, as I would call them, like Teslas and sweepers, um, they're tricky to place next to a giant bomb. So be really careful when using those uh, 
yeah, to place your giant bombs next to. I mean, a double set. Um, the other set, uh, same story. Um, if you come in from this angle, um, they will most likely path over like this and will trigger one at a time. Uh, the only way, really, to trigger this double set correctly... Um, I don't think there is. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Nope, that's really brutal, but it, it's the truth. Um, from this angle, they will path like this and path up towards the air defense or split up. Um, and th this section of Hawks will trigger them one at a time, maybe get the double trigger. Uh, it's very tricky. Yeah, that would be, that would be tough. Kind of depends how they path over from that little king pad. But if they stood on that the corner of that expo, Gonna yeah, definitely. Uh, so this, these two de defenses are basically in uh, the cones of your double bomb set, and same goes for this mortar. Um, they're really tricky. I I would remove those defenses yeah, to be honest. Uh, I was gonna say, kind of just to provide maybe a fix for this base is that this one I would just change up a little bit. Maybe move the sweeper or, or change the angle, or you might just move some, some stuff around to make that more pure, and then split these two up into singles. Yeah, that, that would be a really nice uh, way to go about. Yeah, like you could even leave one where it is and then move the other one, I don't know, like somewhere in there or something. Yeah, that was, that's my first instinct as well to place it around there. Uh, but that does force you to move this one out further, but yeah. that's okay. So the spring traps, as I said, um, they're placed nicely. These are in between defenses. This one is a bit tricky, but still in between defenses. Like if you come from this angle, they will path over perfectly. From this angle, they might not. But then again, it's a, a, a four-space defense. Um, so it just might work. Um, tough to tell. The, the, this one can trigger anywhere from zero to, to three hogs. Um, yeah, all of the springs are good. I, like the spring traps, I really like them. Yeah, keep them as is. Uh, they're spread out nicely. Um, even one of the Archer Queen, that one might be not as va valuable as the other ones because um, these defenses are likely to get taken out by a kill squad. Yeah. So that's the only one I would consider moving. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go to uh, air defenses, I'd say. Mm -hmm. The Loon defense. Uh, as the builder of this base uh, pointed out correctly, most clans, I think, will enter at this side because they see the two air defenses and the queen. Um, but what they forget is that there's three, four, sometimes even five stores in, in the way. There's a king in the way beating on them and distracting uh, the troops. I think people will get stuck mm, yes. <laughs> with a loon attempt. A long time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, I think uh, this side is fairly well defended against the loon. Still, with high-level heroes, but this is a low base. It could be done, um, but considering it uh, as is, like as low-level Tunnel 9, you'll get low-level Tunnel 9s against you, you know? So, I think, uh, I think I'll defend from this side. However, as we talked about, um, a jump in this area and that's more high level stuff most people won't even consider it um, yeah will get too much I think that will actually get the job done yeah because uh, I mean you get stuck on a few things there um, but that's manageable it's only two storages yeah I think so I mean you, you, you definitely probably pop that one and, and well for surely you pop that one and Plus, you get the you sweepers. You, you get the get sweepers the as well. You get um, three, four um, point defenses with it. I think that's enough for value, like even five point defenses. Here's another thought because, uh, again, we're supposed to be speaking as if the queen wouldn't jump back, but that um, another big problem is that fact, obviously, uh, just to point out why you can't have your queen there. She goes into this compartment, which she will, and you earthquake. Just, or jumped just there, right? That's a that's huge. Actually, um, look at this, a double jump. Yeah. One, yeah. two, Boom. three. 
And that's the reason why you absolutely need to have your queen and here's the thing, three spaces. And here's the thing about Valks and double jumps. If you're double, if the Val guy who's Valking has like four intersections to jump over top of and doesn't know where he's going to go, that it's hard to judge Valk happening. But these jumps Definitely. would literally be clean straight up the middle exactly where you want them to go. Right? And, and the queen will jump over, so she'll be yeah. taken out anyway. Yep. That's an extremely clean uh, setup, actually. Yeah, so rule number one, change that freaking queen chamber. <laughs> Don't let her jump. But for the sake of argument, I think um, if she wouldn't jump, uh, overall placement of the air defenses is good. Uh, yeah, even this one is not queen walkable. They do cover each other. Um, versus queen charges, it's a bit more tricky. I don't think, uh, for example, this entry would be... Uh, possible, but then again, this is low level Tunnel 9. I wouldn't be bothered with it. Nope. But uh, overall, I, you can tell you just grasp, grasp the overall concept of having to place your air defenses strategically. Yep. Um, I, I yeah. also like the uh, Wizard Towers, they're out of range of air defenses, or at least uh, close to it. The red bombs clustered up next to a, a Wizard Tower. In this case, I would move them out a bit further um, because Lava Hounds will likely path around these areas, so moving them out further would actually help in this case. Um, this one is the uh, same story, move it out further um, and get that one over there as well, I'd say. So, good job overall. Um, actually, this is the last thing I wanted to mention. This black mine is better served over here, I think. First of all, because uh, it covers the air defense better, it, it covers it anyway, it's, uh, it's a fine it's well placed, but imagine this um, air defense being down. You could send uh, in a lava hound and would even trigger that one. So it's basically wasted. Um, and also versus dragon attacks, uh, having your black mine spread a little bit around your air defenses is generally better. Yeah, especially because you have them very close together. Like you can put it somewhere like in there um, or here, for example. Well, no, I think I'd rather, like, if you put it right in here, it's almost right within that triangle of air defenses, so... It will trigger. It's going to trigger no matter what the attacker does kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, last details. Um, stuff like queen walks, I'd say. Uh, this base has a fairly obvious queen walk, but as we said, we that, that can be fixed. Um, after that... Um, yeah, it's it's becoming pretty tough to do it because there's an expo out of range here, yeah. so that one's really well placed. Um, so you, you're forced to use a rage in this area because of the king and the expo. Um, it's still pretty high value. What I would do, honestly, to this base concerning queen walks or charges, I would probably just earthquake that, charge in, get three air defense. But that's too tough to do on a low level with a low level queen. Uh, yeah, for sure, and that's why I was saying it tentatively. But um, yeah, looking down the road at stuff, right? You you ideally it, it, down the road once that starts happening in your base, your goal is to get not let the attacker charge in and be able to get two air defense if from one compartment. Yeah, which and is really hard to trick and do. I'll tell you that much. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I struggle with that. It's it's really tough to do. Um, actually, one tip for future reference. Um, right now, it isn't as important because it's low-level Tunnel 9. Um, I almost never see uh, a queen placed like perpendicular to the, to the side, basically, um, be very well protected or very effective. I don't really know why, but the, the main... Re yeah, actually, I do, because uh, the air defenses, the placement of them, they can't be spread out enough. You don't. You simply don't have enough walls to protect all of them. Well, and you're the saying if she's not at like 12, 12 3, Basically, if she's not over there, for example. Oh, this is a little tidbit you've never told me before. No, <laughs> but that's awesome. Um, I should, it, it, do that. I would say, like, generally, I, I almost always place my queen at one of the four points. Not right on those points, but that's your where your queen chamber is. In general, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the the reason being is um, <laughs> it's this might sound strange, but it is a fact. the The queen is centralized. I was 
just in the end, that, that's what it is. Yeah. Your, your queen is too centralized, forcing you to use too many walls and protecting her. Uh, plus, you have an extra corner to be concerned about. It's not just the 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 two corners in uh, over here, but it's three you need to defend. So it, it costs extra walls as well. I think that's the overall reason. So yeah, it's sense. possible. I've se I've seen a couple of good bases using this. So um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but for general base building, I think it's a better idea to place her in a corner and not um, on this straight, basically. Cool. Yep. Um, the small bombs, pretty nice, but the disadvantage of this is uh, you're only covering this section of the base, uh, while the most likely entry, in my opinion, that's going to get the, the triple, is either in this section or this section. So having two bombs over here and over here, uh, let me remove some stuff to make it clearer. Um, I would say these two bombs would be very viable, uh, as well as two bombs over here and two bombs over in this section somewhere. Yep. Uh, maybe over there. Uh, those are the most valuable uh, entry points, maybe this section, but that's tough to defend anyway, and there's a wizard tower there, so it's less risky. Less, less prone to wall breakers. So I, I, if, if you want to have them outside of your base, I would choose those uh, six places. Yeah. Uh, lastly, the storages are pretty well spread out throughout the base. The only um, storage I would move is that one and place it somewhere over here. That's the last comment I have uh, about the base. Get a little more meat on that side of the base. Definitely. Yeah, because you have so much over there. Really, all those buildings on the outside of that heavy compartment at 3 o'clock should just be very light. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, this building over here doesn't really add too much. Um, you could move that building towards the gold storage over here and get that gold storage inside of your base. Just an example that would help defend better. Here's a question, maybe you know, like, does a max dr DE drill have more hit points than a collector, a gold or a lesser collector? Yes, it does. it does. I usually use it does. In, the, in the base too. Yeah. Um, you, if I recall correctly, um, your dark barracks have more HP than your uh, barracks, and then the collectors have more HP than those, and then come the dark elixir drills. So if I want to force the hand of my opponent, um, you can actually, for example, uh, place uh, dark elixir drills, um, not in the center actually, just uh, normal barracks. Uh, in the core, and then dark elixir drills like over here and over here, and some medium HP here. That would actually naturally, if they equally place wizards, make everything funnel outside. Yeah. I've tried it, it doesn't always work. Most of the time, it doesn't work. But it, y if you want to use a, a collector as a storage, basically use your dark elixir drills. Yeah. And uh, that's basically what I'm saying. Cool. All right, so right on. This is a. Yep. Pretty good, pretty good job overall, but uh, good base. definitely is going to need a little bit of redesign. Thanks for uh, submitting. So, uh, check Absolutely. Out. Yeah. So one point about the last base. Good job. I mean, you're very early tunnel nine. Uh, even the gold storage wasn't maxed yet. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's it's the first attempt, basically. So awesome job. For so sure. Absolutely. keep it up, man. Uh, so the next base, uh, is it up at your side? Yeah, I got it. Awesome. So let's start with the, the queen compartment. Queen is over there, left side, um, pretty well protected by some storages. Um, queen King is next to her side, she's uh, fairly exposed. Um, the lines won't disappear, let me remove them. Uh, let's see, she will jump in this compartment, but then the question is, is that a problem? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. I mean, there's no giant bombs in here. There's no, not too much of a high value in there. The only issue I do see is that if you were to quake this section, um, you open up to three air defenses, and um, your queen will jump in, and with what, just one set of wall breakers, you can get in with a couple of golems and get three air defenses. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, so next thing. Uh, the queen is pretty well protected. Uh, the only way to really queen walk her is from this area. Um, and that's protected by these two Teslas as well together with that. So you're forcing a rage at the very minimum. Uh, maybe even her ability if uh, stuff goes wrong. Oh. Pretty nice. Uh, you could consider uh, grounding this expo and placing it over here, for example. 
Uh, I suspect that sweeper has to be pointed this way. I would totally have a sweeper that way. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think that's a mistake. Um, just got drawn the wrong way. Um, that's fine. Uh, the last thing I would mention is that there's two black mines in there. Generally, I'm not a fan of this. Also because, uh, first of all, on this area, your king most likely defends it. And uh, from this section, it might need uh, a black mine. So th uh, that one's well placed. So personally, I would probably place it over here even. Is a really it's, large it's a very big investment. It makes you very weak to, to lava loon attacks, basically. So what I would change uh, on this compartment, I would just move this wall over here. I mean, why not? W what's the issue? There's no reason not to, and that lets you place this uh, expo next to your queen, uh, allowing you to ground that expo even, and protect her even better than she already is. Just shift that clan castle down a little bit. For example, yeah. yeah. Should be good. Uh, next up, the compartment sizing. Um, except for this quake I talked about, I mean, it opens up three giant bombs as well. Same story, queen will jump, but if it's fixed... Uh, you're forcing an investment of another jump, so that's that's nice. The only issue I might see, and um, it's hard to tell right now, if you have this wall like this, this might be quakeable as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, pay attention when changing it. Uh, that might become an issue. Um, yeah, looking at just real quick, um, I think moving that that core wall more, or something like that, and then fixing that queen chamber. About. Something like it. Th this wall might be an issue as well. Yeah, you, th you, th that wall is actually fairly easy to, to place towards here. I mean, uh, move, move around, it. it's, it's Yeah. It, it, once that queen chamber is fixed, it's almost useless. It's not useless, but you know. It's not saying? useless. I, I, I'm using uh, this these types of walls with a couple of storages. I've, I've tried that in the past. Actually, works quite well to stall troops and uh, have golems path around. So it, it works well. Um, in this case, Mm. Uh, th th this section basically is the problem yeah, so easy. something needs to move yeah, in there. Exactly. Exactly. and it could even save you some walls actually if you place them like this but yeah. that's uh, that can be fixed I don't see any many high value jumps to be honest so very good job maybe this one from the outside uh, a double jump like this could kill the base but then again uh, golems would spread out very much so uh, um, yeah, I think they'd go the, arch tower cannon and then right in. The thing I, I would say is if you come in from the top with a golem, with uh, two golems and just your oh, queen, just flank fine. with a couple of hogs, that would take out this expo, and the jump would allow everything to move down and in. Um, these two buildings are touching, so it is very risky to pull this off. And, um, and here's a great example of why that queen chamber has to be fixed in this little corner here. Because look at it right now. You could easily just, you could jump, like you just said, over that. And then you could put your next jump over that. And it's going to let you into the whole base. However, if, and that's only because the queen is going to be in this compartment. Now, if you fixed it, you would force that second jump over here, making the Valkyries or whatever he's using that much less... Valuable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. So, giant bombs. Uh, first thing I notice, they're pretty much in a line. That's a good thing uh, because that usually means they're spread out nicely. Um, as I said, these two might be too close together because if you take out uh, two almost touching buildings, uh, you take out three giant bombs. So, consider moving uh, this out further for example that's fine i mean you can have one giant bomb queen walkable i mean you don't really want to but you're forced to because you're you're forced to compromise sometimes yeah. uh, and in this case there's a lot of storages out there there's only two point defenses maybe three or four if you you get a really long queen walk um i think in this case it's doable so consider it and uh that should be fine uh, the double bomb bar thing is the next thing. Um, from this angle, let's start there. They will path down, path up, but imagine hawks coming in from this se section. They will most likely come here, get there, and path over. I think. Am I right there? Yeah, for the most part, I'd say. 
I, yep. I always get a little bit worried with something like that canon there. Um, so you're just never 100% sure what is happening with this, but there is a lot of, there. it's very well protected, right? I mean, yeah, it definitely it's is. Right, it's right in the core. That's always nice. Um, the only you're, way you're probably safe. I agree with you there. Yeah, I, I think you're safe. The only way I see um, you getting a single trip on this one is to come heavy on this archer tower, come heavy on this archer tower, exactly. and have a couple in here, yeah, and then have a meet up in the cannon. middle. Yes, that, that and that <sighs> last defense, right? It, it's it's going to screw it up. To be honest, when planning, I don't think I would come up with this. <laughs> um, maybe because I'm coming up with it now, but. Um, I don't think it's bit, uh, much of a problem. I just want to point it out that this cannon is a bit risky, and I think in this case it's fine. Uh, coming from the south, um, you have a pathing here that goes to the cannon, and then over to, uh, I mean, imagine them coming like this. They would probably path over to the air defense or maybe split up. It's a close call. I think um, in this case I would actually move this builder's hut one space up, uh, to force the Hawks to go around and path correctly, it's tricky if they're coming from this uh, cannon. Once again, it's a close call. It's tough to judge. Um, try this base out and see if it works. Uh, simple fixes like this Bill's Hut can help it. Um, yeah, I mean, I almost, there's room to move this cannon up one space. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, especially because this wall needs to move anyway. Yeah. Yep. So you're forced to place this cannon more like over here, and that would fix the whole issue. Yeah, or just elsewhere altogether. Like, like you said, I think that, that pretty much you, you're going to want to take a look at this entirety, that section. If you can change Basically. that a little bit and, and not that little bit there too. That'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. So springs. This one's very nice. Uh, Hawks will be coming in from this angle if they do a path like this and path over that's uh, a two or three uh, hawks gone. And this is uh, clear, very, very, very clear. That's very nice. Um, that one's very good. Hawks will be coming in from this angle or this angle. This angle is a bit more sketchy, but you, you're not telling me people aren't dropping on both defenses at the same time. Yeah, exactly, especially if they know the Tesla's there. They're gonna. Yeah, they 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 want to have hawks on this uh, mortar basically. This spring, however, uh, I would call that a no way spring. <laughs> because either way there's a space between the defense uh, fence and the spring so you have to have a, a group of hawks coming over this to even trigger a single one I don't, I don't like this one either and that one's bad uh, also because if they're coming in from this angle first of all it's a tricky angle to cut a path over it would work um it it's it has a high chance of only triggering one unless once again it's a big crew, group coming over. Why this uh, five spring traps. There's one over here. Next to the CC. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that one. That's not a. Well, That's not a bad one, but did, I in think. Our, remember in our tra in our trap episode, we talked about pretty much this exact spring trap setup. Sure it can work. Okay. It could it could work very nice. Like uh, the the one raid, this spring trap will work wonders. It will trip three hogs uh, just fine. The next raid, it it'll only trip one because uh, of the angle the hogs take. So, I'm not a big fan of it, but it will work and it's okay basically. Yeah. For me, if I ever have that set up with a sweeper on top of a two or two, I would I'd almost rather for a double and put them right in right there like yeah that. absolutely yeah. absolutely so i think that covers uh, the hawks mostly yep. uh, overall great job um yeah let's move to air defense the first thing i noticed when uh, looking at the air defenses the diamond shape is uh, one of the more commonly used ones which is a good setup but in this case uh, in my opinion they're too close together because as we said uh, this one compartment you're reaching one, two, three air defenses, and with a quake, you're basically open four, opening four uh, air defenses. So they're too cl close together and need some extra walls, basically, to defend them. Uh, for example, over here, you have some extra walls. Uh, you could use, um, let's see, there, there, there's always a couple of extra walls, like this one. There's two walls over there. Um, they're, they're just a couple of examples. 
uh, that could net you a couple of extra walls and uh, help you protect those. But the main issue I see is they're just a touch too close together. Yeah. Like, if they were to move in these directions, I think everything would be fine. Because you could, as a queen charger, I mean, come in from a couple different ways, but specifically coming in just from, from, from down here, right? Gonna... Yeah. If she, she will walk in like this, even you could, it is easier funnel. Or that, yeah. um, I and quake the, this. I just saw the army camp there. So that's what immediately. Yeah. Me. Absolutely. Yeah. I saw it here. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but even, even up, if you kind of got rid of this section and came in from the top, it, it works the same way. You don't yeah. get that fourth one from that angle. Um, well, but from, from this angle, from the south, and you quake this section, um, it, it's fine to spend three rages even for it because you're eliminating all air defenses. So that means you need to support in this area with and something. You remember, especially with t attacks these days, if you're allowing a queen with healers, it doesn't matter if she uses three rages to get all your air defense. That just means the attacker is going to bring seven or eight dragons and your base is done. You're gone. Yeah. You're a goner. <laughs> As I said, the only uh, area you need some support for is this section. The the remainder can be done with the uh, dragons. Yeah. Probably you probably get if you just just had to spend that with the with. I mean, I guess you have to earthquake. So earthquake and. There's no spells left, but yeah. basically um, you're getting eight dragons or something like it. You don't need it. Yeah. Yep. Um, and last thing, uh, the sweepers, as we mentioned. If you imagine this sweeper being somewhat like this, for example, or pointing towards the queen, um, both would be fine. Um, and this sweeper, what does it really do? It defends these air defenses. Once again, um, when defending the balloon attacks, you're defending the balloons more than the lava hounds. The lava hounds don't really do anything. They're just tanking the air defenses and the the archer towers most of the time so you want to defend the balloons with your sweepers and in this case both sweepers don't really defend against balloons so consider them um, yeah, consider pointing this one up like this for example um, or moving them all together that's what I'd say yeah I think they need readjustment I kind of like the one beside the expo if you turned it protecting the tesla trap and the queen walk from that side um yeah, that, this is a very good one if turned correctly. Yeah, uh, but I, th I do think that second one you would, you would want to shift around somehow. Absolutely. So the black mines, as we said, there's too much protection on the queen. Um, yeah, the, these two are, are fine. As we said, uh, you're probably going to have to defend dragons with this base. So um, I would suggest spreading them out a bit more. Uh, surround your defenses with uh, bombs, for example, like that. It's just an example. In this case, you need one to protect your queen, but um, spread them out so you have a higher chance of hitting multiple dragons instead of having two black mines mine. hitting one. Because that's a waste, right? It doesn't. One black mine doesn't quite kill a, a level four drag, does it? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But no, it, it it hurts it badly. So and, and if if it's damaged, is a waste of damage, right? Absolutely, it it does about two thirds to three quarters, I think. So um, yeah, it's a waste basically. Um, so last thing I, I really noticed on this base, uh, first of all, this mortar. I really like that there's a, a red mine over there. I mean, you're trying to prevent the one-for-one -one trade. I think it will still get its bomb off because there's no. Uh, you can drop it straight on top of the the mortar. But it's a really good idea to protect that mortar with a red bomb. Um, as I said, I don't think it's going to be effective because uh, you're dropping it straight on top. So that mortar with uh, the red bomb would be okay if... There was uh, a building over here, for example, uh, to have this, yeah, ha have the loom basically come from further away. Yeah, just in general, just protect it, right? I always talk about pushing your buildings out where, where necessary. I, I don't mind something like this being tucked in a little bit. Um, no, that's fine. I like it with the, the queen, actually, because it's protecting side. the queen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But for something like maybe back, um, I don't know, I'm looking for Well, example. it's done on the top over here. He did it right here. There's yeah. a defense in front of it. It's hard to, to place a loon straight on top of it. And the best part about this one um, is that these Teslas might pop and stop it from uh, killing, 
killing the mortar. Yeah. So it, it's a close call once again, and that's another reason why I dislike this black mine because it, it's it's a close call, but it might pop. Not if coming from this angle, but you know what I mean. If, if the the loon, if you get two loons in there, uh, get them a bit closer, then your black mine is gone. Basically, and this for people that still lure. That's a that's a pretty common. I'm pretty sure if you drop two oh, yeah. balloons, not knowing the Teslas were there, you might think you're gonna drop two balloons and get the lure, which you probably still would. Mm. But you're gonna. I don't know. Tough for those it's a close Teslas, call. No. And it, it the range might be over here. I'd have to see the clan castle range, but you will get the black mine. Which is a win. So lastly, uh, the red bombs. Uh, this one is over there next to the Tesla farm. Pretty good place. Uh, are any lava hounds likely to path over? I would say they're not really. No, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good placement. The only concern I have that it might be too close to these two, two air defenses. So if a lava hound were to pop, um, it might trigger it. A general rule I have uh, for placing the the red mines, uh, like this one for example. Um, keep the outer edge of your um, of the range of the air defense. Um, try to keep that as a landmark for um, where not to place, the, where not to place yeah. the red bombs. I don't know how to put it basically, but uh, if you see the, the the range of your air defenses, try to not have air, uh, red bombs in that area. That's how uh, that's the way to say it. Yeah. Uh, this one's pretty nice, uh, pretty close to the wizard tower. I would most likely place closer to the wizard tower uh, and double up. Uh, they're all spread in this space. Just double up on them. Uh, it's it's a good habit. Once again, they're trade-offs. Um, in this case, you're, you're defending your Tesla farm and your wizard farm uh, with the Tesla, basically. So it's pretty good. And this one has a purpose. Only this one I would move. So use that one to double up somewhere. So lastly, um, the details like small bombs. In this case, I see that your bombs are unleveled. They're uh, level three or level four. Um, that means they're not going to kill a wall breaker, a level five wall breaker, which means that as long as they're not level six, your uh, uh, small bombs, correct me if I'm wrong on the level five, so you do need to check it. Um, but as long as they're not level six, I would always place them inside of my base, using them as uh, basically a fifth giant bomb. Yeah. In this case, you could, for example, place them over here, yeah, place four, like four over there. Uh, that basically makes it a double giant uh, bomb set. If they don't immediately heal it and have their hogs at full HP when it happens, they're gone. So in this case, I would place them inside of your base. Uh, any super valuable queen walks? I don't really see them. Maybe on this side. Yeah, this side basically. But that's because the queen will aggro. It's a tough thing to do, but you're going to force a rage there. Um, but that might be too valuable. Because you'll have expo. If, you, if she gets within those two Teslas and gets stuck on something, it's, it's pretty risky with that sweeper pointed in the right direction. Um, yeah. Now, the rage... I, I, think she would rip through this just because she would. of the way the sequence is going to go. I mean, yep. she's going to start... She's This archer tower is going to be dead before the Teslas even pop up. And even if they're all popped up, uh, a rage will get her through it, I think. Yeah. If, if the queen engages at the same time, she might need her ability, but I think uh, it'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. So, so I'd look at moving those Teslas in, in the long run. I mean, or in next, like I'm not a huge fan of having a Tesla farm that close to my Archer Queen, just because you know guys are going to be looking for that. Like, how am I going to be able to get? How, like, first thing I, I think of when I when I look at breaking down a base is how am I going to get the Archer Queen with the most value value out of it, right? So if I absolutely know I want a clean up attack, there's three Teslas there and the Queen. Well, <laughs> obviously I'm going to do something to make sure that that goes down for the for the minimum value possible, which is going to be four healers and a rage. Imagine placing a wizard over here to clear this camp. Um, that will will move on to help clear the the storages, and then your queen with a rage over here will take out the Tesla farm. Will take out the Archer Tower there. Take out the the queen and probably have the juice to to go through and keep going. Yeah. So that's an issue. And 
I was about to say that about the the Tesla farms. If you paid attention, I was marking them even when you said it. Um, I was going to say the same thing. I think these are too close to your queen. They're possible. Like it's possible to sneak them in close to watch your queen, but be really careful because the stuff Wiser just said is absolutely true. Um, yeah, uh, in the long run, I think they would be better off in a different area. Um, some iron wolf told me. There's another like the basic concept is ki is kill zone, heal zones, kill zones, right? Your queen chamber is a kill is a kill zone within itself. On itself. Yeah, so always. When you're that close, you're kind of just including these Teslas in that kill zone. You're not creating a whole separate one where where it would have to be dealt with separately, right? So it's it's make it's just simplifying the attack for for the attack. absolutely. So the last thing I forgot it on the last base. So sorry about it. Same rules apply. Uh, the skeleton traps. Oh, this nice. one, in my opinion, is too close to to the double set. So I mean, a kill squad will have to defuse this if you're hogging. Um, so that one will get triggered. I would uh, probably place it uh, closer towards the outside, so it, it's less likely to trigger uh, with a kill squad. Um, this one, same story. It's really close towards the the queen. There's not. Yeah, I, I don't think it will pop, but it's a risky placement basically. Like placing it more towards the top would be safer. Yeah, somewhere in this section. So that's a, a better place to put it. So once again, overall, um, we've made a lot of comments about this base, but I think you got a really good concept here. I don't think this base will get tripled by a lot of people. Nope. Um, so moving great job. In, moving into more advanced attacks, right? You, you'll want to address things like like this intersection right here, trying to keep air defense a little more spacious, um, you know, to limit the places a queen can walk in and, and kill more than one of them. Um, but overall, I think uh, really good job, man. Yep, very nice base. So, um, yeah, thanks again once, uh, for sending them in and uh, showing us you guys uh, know what how uh, to build bases. It's yeah, awesome. And actually, I just re mentioned in a recent video, uh, I am starting now to get Tuesdays and Wednesdays off again for the first time in a few months. So hopefully uh, hopefully we can find uh, time to do this on our get back on our weekly schedule with this. Um, Sweet. That would be awesome. Yeah, so uh, let's, go, let's conclude this one, though, Caddick. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome, man. And we'll get you next time on Slay My Base. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. I'm just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, we're out.